afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Uh, we thought we'd get underway right on time if we possibly could. My name's Chris Quinn. Uh, I'm here because I'm the chairman of the Ice House uh, and I'm the CEO of Spark Home Mobile and Business. So welcome to our place. Uh, we've had a pretty cool, pretty big day here today. I don't know if you saw TV One News this morning, but they, uh, they did all the breakfast news from within the foyer and out by our cafe here. So um, we had Sol Mio singing this morning and welcoming us and it's an incredible time of year and it's incredible to think that so many of you are here on the 19th of December, which as we all know in New Zealand, we're on the verge of the shutdown for a month, uh, except for everybody in the startup community where you never shut down. And uh, so it's sort of, you know, it's one of those days where when we saw the opportunity and saw the date, we thought, I wonder how this is gonna go. And the only problem we have had is we've run out of room. Uh, so it's a fantastic sign of the energy and the strength of the startup community in New Zealand uh, and of just how excited we all should be about our future because, you know, an event like this for very short notice, but with two amazing draw cards, let's be, let's be real, uh, has dragged such a great audience here on a day like this, so keen to hear this full story. The other thing I wanted to uh, talk about a little bit is um, something Spark's doing just to keep doing our part in what has to happen in New Zealand. And that is, uh, we're announcing or confirming today our partnership with Lightning Lab in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch, and that we will be the first national sponsor of that program uh, that is getting underway. In fact, the applications have been going on for the last few weeks. Um, so it's fantastic for us to be involved with something that's very real about taking people's hopes and aspirations and ideas and, and getting them through a really well-proven, globally known process of refining that idea, of developing that idea, and applying for a place in this accelerator program that will over a very short three month period, pick them up and then work out out of the 10 that make it through to the program, you know, get them to demo day and get them invested and get them growing and going as fast as we can. So we're really excited about that. A big part of my responsibility in this place is the small and medium business market in New Zealand. To have a chance to grow some more of those and to inspire many more of those is really, really cool from our point of view. So we're looking forward to today as much as all of you are. Um, great that we can host you here at our place and that you can look ahead to some fantastic stories and some truly deeply inspirational stuff today. But I'm gonna let our MC talk about who that is and who they are. So it's my pleasure now to introduce your MC for the afternoon, who's gonna keep this thing rolling and keep it full of energy and keep it right on time. Uh, Michelle Dickinson, and I asked, I, I had a two page bio for Michelle, which she begged me not to read. Uh, so I'm going to go real short on it, which you said, you know, I'm here, one, because it matters and I care deeply about tech and I care deeply about New Zealand's success in it. And I want to stand for a whole lot of the, especially the women entrepreneurs and scientists that are making a difference. Uh, she's responsible for New Zealand's first nanotech lab and recent winner of the Prime Minister's Science Communications Award. Uh, she came here on 24 hours notice uh, because she cares so much about what we're trying to do with this thing. So I'm going to hand over now to your MC for the afternoon, Michelle Dickinson. Thanks. Hey, hey, thanks, Chris, for the intro. You're right. So I had 24 hours notice, so I'm really sorry, but I'm going to be using some notes today. Um, what an awesome afternoon. It's, it's sad to be in a basement now when the weather actually finally, summer actually turned up. So for those of you who don't know me, I'm Nano Girl. You can find me on Twitter. And we are going to have like the most incredible afternoon today. And 2014 has been pretty incredible as, as years go for our entrepreneurial community. We've had really big successes. We've had Wellington Cloud Storage Company Green Button being acquired by Microsoft. We've had both Orion Healthcare and we've had Vista listing on both the New Zealand Stock Exchange and the Australian one. And so what a better way to wrap up this year by having this amazing ecosystem in one space so we can celebrate entrepreneurship and we can actually pick the brains of some people who've had some massive successes. So it's been um, pretty exciting, especially as a woman in tech, to actually see the formation of Archangels, our first female investment group aimed at women-led and managed businesses, as well as the formation of Kiwi, uh, Flying Kiwi Angels. And our Tauranga-based um, enterprise angels have doubled their investment over the last 12 months, raising them up to 5.1 million invested. And we can't forget Ice Angels have had their biggest year ever with 8.1 million going into startups. So it's a pretty exciting space this year. So we've also got to celebrate things like New Zealand Venture Investments Fund celebrating their 100th investment in early stage ventures through our co-seed and co-investment fund. And we're really living, I think, in a climate where we're getting massive financial incentives in New Zealand to actually grow and we're not having to go offshore so much. 
So what's been happening in the big world? Well, Lanza Tech, I don't need to mention that they are just growing and growing right now. So really great stuff from Sean and the team over there. They've managed to raise a staggering 200 million US as they get ready to open their first commercial plant in 2016. And Power by Proxy, another exciting one. Um, in the midst of raising, raising 30 million from private investors, and it looks like their wireless charging tech is gonna go commercial in 2016 too. Talking about funding, we can't if, um, forget the important crowdfunding scheme. So we've got Snowball Effect, Pledge Me, peer, and the peer-to-peer -peer group Harmony. And well done to Anna if she's here for managing to raise a 100K in 24 hours. That was pretty impressive. And then we've got these massive groups like Callahan Innovation, NZTE, MB, and Kia. So we actually have this incredible hub now that we can all grow in and some pretty big organizations ready to throw money, experience, and knowledge into. So with all that success and investment, and with the year coming to a close and the sun finally shining, it's time to celebrate some of these successes. And it's also interesting to bring in um, investment companies and people from overseas to bring in that knowledge. But I do think you will recognize that we are a very different system here in New Zealand, and we're quite quirky, and that whole two degrees of separation seems like quite a high number. Because you know how it works here. Everybody knows everybody, or they know their cousin, or they can... And it's one thing I love about living in New Zealand is that we do have this really unique hub where things can grow and you actually, your neighbor is probably the guy you needed to help you make that next step. So the goal of this event is to take that two degrees of separation and make it one, right? So you're all sitting next to somebody right now, so there's a new network for you right here. To be surrounded by amazing like-minded people, to have a space where we can share some insights and experiences in starting companies. And it's a great place you can actually bounce some ideas off some other people and, and see what they think. It's that little old New Zealand, that funny place, right? It's that little country that has these massive successful ideas and it's one of the reasons why I love living here. So thank yous, stuff like this doesn't happen for free and so we need to thank our important sponsors. First of all, thank you, Spark, for this wonderful room and hosting the event here. Thank you to um, Grid AKL as our network sponsor. And if you haven't been to Grid AKL, they're hosted by Biz Dojo. Fun, funky space, pretty cool, great coffee machine. Um, also, a really great place to work from to sort of bounce ideas off like-minded people. So thanks, Grid. Um, we have to thank AUT, Creative HQ, Derek Handley, um, the Ice House, Lightning Lab, and Rebecca Mills, and Kiwi Connect. So I think you were all in the audience. Thank you. This stuff can't happen without you. We're going to have a series of speakers with a break in the middle for coffee, and there's going to be a panel session at the end. And with that, it's sort of time for you guys to sit back and immerse yourself in a series of inspiring speakers who are going to share their stories and their experiences with you.